Well, hey guys, I've been kicking around some ideas, different ways to bear the boredom during the, uh, oh, it's not a lockdown, but bear the boredom. So I've got a bunch of suggestions for you, some ideas for what to eat, some ideas for activities at the house, some ideas for playing games, some good movies. So I'm just gonna wrap them all up for you and hopefully this will bless somebody. Uh, for movies, uh, the first one is Miss Virginia. And uh, Miss Virginia was made in 2019. It's a rental from Amazon Prime Video. Miss Virginia is about an impoverished single mother losing her 15-year-old son to the rough streets of Washington, D.C. Unwilling to see him drop out and deal drugs, she places him in a private school, but when she can't afford the tuition, she soon launches a movement to change the system that is destroying him and thousands of others. Uh, I wrote down a couple of the most impactful moments for me. This mother found out that Washington, D.C. was spending $14,000 per student in the public school system, and the private school she wanted to put him in was only $7,000 per student. So uh, D.C. was charging twice as much for the public school system. Why wouldn't it be better than the private school system? That was a great movie. Number two, Evolution. The Grand Experiment, episode number one. You'll have to pay $3.99, I think, to rent this. Again, this is on Amazon Prime. It said that it was um, genetically... Is it genetically possible for a thick-skinned dinosaur to ever develop feathers? Dinosaurs became birds or birds became dinosaurs, one or the other. Vice versa. Also, the family trees, uh, ape to human drawings that are used to represent evolution, have some shady practices behind them. And this movie, this video um, highlights that. Scientists are saying that they need a new explanation for the world's existence because genetically, at the cellular level, Darwin's theory doesn't work. Uh, the other thing that impacted me was they show the evolution, the pictures from the little ape all the way up to a human. And then they tell you some things about those drawings that are enlightening. Number three, The Simple Life of Noah Dearborn. Amazon Prime Rental, again, The Simple Life of Noah Dearborn. This was Cindy, Sydney, Sydney Portier, Porti, you guys, you know who the guy is. A developer hires a psychiatrist to declare that a farmer is mentally incompetent in order to gain his land. Neat movie, an old one, but really good, clean movie. Typical story of the underdog. Uh, most impactful moment? I can't tell you because it would ruin the movie. And last but not least is an oldie but a goodie, The Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments, the old original one with uh, Charlton Heston. The Ten Commandments dramatizes the biblical story of the life of Moses, an adopted Egyptian prince who becomes a deliverer of his real brethren, the enslaved Hebrews, and therefore leads the exodus to Mount Sinai where he receives from God the Ten Commandments. Uh, most impactful moments for me was that uh, here is a guy that is willing to give up all of his wealth and luxury in order to go save uh, an oppressed people. The scene where the Red Sea parts and all the Israelites go through on dry ground. That was uh, pretty, pretty well done, especially considering uh, how old the movie is. Next suggestion. I saw a dad set up a tent in his living room and him and his boys uh, camped out in the living room. So I saw on Facebook uh, one lady, um, she being my sister, copied a hairstyle. Let me see, what would the game be? Uh, some iconic hairstyle, right? She took a picture of John Travolta from Greece and did uh, my little nephew's hair like that. So maybe the family could play a game. Uh, each of you gets to take turns making someone else's hair look like an iconic uh, Hollywood figure. And everybody has to try to guess who it is. Then the fun part is then you got to turn around and let the kids do the same thing to their parents. So the kids get to make your hair look like one of their favorite characters. Disclaimer, uh, I cannot be held responsible if someone gets an ear chopped off. When it comes to food, to keep everybody from getting bored or to keep from one person from having to do all the cooking, uh, everyone in the, in the family, uh, everybody gets to write down on a three by five card their ideal dinner, their favorite dinner. All the three by five cards then go into a pool. Every day at dinner or lunch, when it's time to eat something, you pull out one of the cards. That's what everybody eats for that meal. Uh, on YouTube, look up Hobo Meals. I remember uh, when I was in Cub Scouts. I thought the hobo meal was the coolest thing in the world. They give you some foil, you put in some hamburgers, some corn, some potatoes, 
wrap the foil around it, and then throw that in a, a, a fire pit if you've got one in your backyard, and uh, cook it for I don't remember how long, but look it up on YouTube. Make a hobo meal with your family. That's gonna be loads of fun. For some games that you could play, uh, get out a box of old family pictures. Anybody still has hard copies, and uh, everybody picks, let's say, four to six pictures. Lay them out, invent a story, tell the story. If somebody has a bad face, you can fill in the space and say that's because they just ate broccoli. Or if somebody's asleep, you could fill in that space and say it's because they just got done climbing Mount Everest. And then maybe you vote on whose story was most creative, uh, funniest, uh, most clever. Number two in the games, the doxology game. A doxology is when you talk about all of the wonderful things that God has done. The first person starts out saying, God is, and then you fill out the blank of a characteristic of God that you can think of. God is merciful. And then the second person, and the repeat what the first person says, and then add a new one to the list. The second person, God is merciful and loving. And then the third person would have to add to that. God is merciful and loving and patient. That's kind of cool, I think. Okay, in the third game, doing a little organization. Everybody gets to pick one drawer, and everybody goes off to organize that drawer in whatever way sees fit to them. And then everybody gets back together, and you inspect each other's sock drawer. Discuss why you made it that way. Another idea, go get all the mattresses off of your beds and put all the mattresses of everybody in one room in the house, in the living room. Tell stories about your childhood. How many people did you have to share your room with? Neat time to get together and tell stories. You know, son, when I was your age, life was hard, and I had to make a living logging. Really, Dad? You logged trees? Yeah, you know about the hardest, uh, uh, hardest work that I remember was uh, back in the day I was logging. I was logging the Sahara Forest. Some of the toughest years of my life were spent logging that Sahara Forest. Really, Dad? Sahara Forest? I thought Sahara was a desert. It is now. Fred Myers. You can go onto the Fred Meyer website and you can pick your groceries on the website and then they'll deliver the groceries to your house for an extra 10 bucks. That was kind of fun. I All right, there you go, guys. That was just for fun. Some ideas. This was full before the lockdown.